Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle auto-suggestive dropdowns using Selenium WebDriver. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you can handle the dropdowns, uh, you know, single select or multi-select dropdowns, which have uh, the HTML attribute as, uh, or, uh, you know, the tag as select. So there is a select class in Selenium WebDriver that we have used uh, to handle, you know, these type of dropdowns, which have this select tag. Now there are, you know, many uh, drop downs, the auto suggestive drop downs that are being used nowadays. So if, for example, I have taken this make my trip website um, and most of these, you know, travel websites nowadays have these uh, auto suggestive drop down, right? So if you click on uh, this particular uh, web element here, right? And if you start typing uh, some, you know, say for example, New Delhi, then it will give you the suggestions accordingly and uh, you know then you have to basically use your mouse either use your mouse or you know um, you know keyboard uh, arrow keys to go through and select the specific one so if you simply type say for example i typed in delhi and i hit enter um, then in that case it will uh, pick the first one right so if i simply um, no, in this case, it's not picking. So I have to basically use the mouse arrow to hover uh, to the suggestion and then hit enter, right? So in some cases, you will find that uh, as soon as you type in the first, you know, uh, letter or the first word, then it will give you the results. And if you press press enter, it will select the first option. So it, it depends what sort of configuration is being done on the UI. Accordingly, you have to basically first have a look manually how the operations are happening for that particular web element and then um, emulate the same thing in your automation script. So in this case, first thing we have to do is basically to click on this from then start typing in the value that we want to search. So basically uh, the from value. So, in, so for example, we'll type uh, Sydney and then we'll press uh, the arrow key to the first suggestion and then hit enter and it will select that particular value in the from field okay so how you will do it so if you closely inspect this element so if i just right click and inspect this particular from field this is a span class right so it's it's basically it's a span tag right so it's not the select or if i inspect this one so this particular location um, then you will see that this is again the span so it's not similar drop down as we have seen these are the traditional drop downs that we had so single select and multi select but uh, nowadays the auto suggestion drop down will be normal web element as any other web element on the page and you have to handle that with the available class and methods in the selenium web driver so let's go ahead and uh, start writing the code for it so here i have already uh, written uh, the code for it let me close it and write you know the fresh code for you so i'll simply copy the demo and i'll provide the name auto suggest drop down demo okay and we'll open this file so i'll remove all these lines from here so which website we were, will be practicing this on? We'll practice this on makemytrip.com. So we'll copy that and paste this URL. And what this will do is it will open the Chrome driver. So let me change it to the uh, web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So I'll import the web driver. And then it will open the make my trip and will maximize the window, okay? So let me close this and clear the logs here. Okay, so now what is the next step? So if we go to this make my trip website, the first thing is basically we have to click on this from um, link here, right? Or uh, this particular box. So if I just right click on it and inspect on this particular element, it's a span tag and then it has the text as from. So 
we can simply right click and click on copy and export and if you say Control f in your uh, firefox browser paste it it's pretty long export that you are getting okay so let's write a better export in this case so i'll say um, you know forward slash and then this tag is of type span okay and then we'll simply say uh, text because we can you can see that the text that this particular span contains is from right so we'll simply use text is equal to and we'll say it is from right and close it and if you hit enter you will see that one of one has been highlighted here right so this is basically unique so it will highlight this particular or it will click on this particular um, web element so let's copy that and the first step we have to do is we have to basically click on this web element so we'll say driver dot find element by so we have used used xpath so we'll simply say xpath and paste the xpath expression here and then we'll click on it right so click on that particular web element now once we click on this web element it will open this search box right so just right click on it and click on inspect element and this also has something placeholder as from okay so placeholder has a value from which we can utilize so to write the x path so if i just right, right click and copy the x path let's see what x path it provides so again in this case it's pretty uh, long x path so we'll simply say relative uh, x path and then uh, start with two forward slash and what is the uh, tag tag is the input type right so if you see this is the uh, tag so we'll say input any uh, any input which has the unique attribute you know uh, the attribute placeholder and the value as from okay so we'll say at placeholder and what's the value for it so it has the value as from okay and if you hit enter you will see that particular uh, search box has been highlighted so this you know um, xpath is correct because you can see it's unique one of one and we can use this to send the text into this particular text box right so we'll simply copy that and we'll say driver dot find element by xpath again okay and then provide this expression the xpath expression and we'll send the keys right so in this case we'll send the location right as sydney and then once we send the keys or once once we start typing so we'll say sydney once we start typing you will see the suggestions there right so we have to select the first suggestion in this case so in order to select the first suggestion so usually either i have to mouse over uh, the suggestion and then click on it or we have to use the keyboard uh, operations that are available i'll use the mouse arrow down uh, sorry key, keyboard arrow down and then click on enter to select this particular value so we'll do the same in the uh, in our uh, script as well so on this same you know uh, web element what we have to do is we'll just say uh, driver dot find element so we have done send keys so we'll use find element dot send keys again in this case and we'll say keys dot arrow down okay so it will move the arrow down okay and then we'll copy the whole thing and we'll say keys dot enter right so these are the steps that are involved to select the value from this auto suggestive drop down now if you see this particular code this is this looks pretty you know uh, messy at the moment we'll look into you know a lot more detail when we go to the advanced topics how you can you know make your code 
look more simple and not having each and everything hard coded in these lines but as of now since we are learning so we'll we are just using the x part directly in the code uh, we can externalize all these things in the later tutorial I'll, I'll explain you how you can externalize x path and you know these hard coded values but as of now i would like to show you something like because if you see this find element it returns the web element type right so what we can do is we can store this web element right so we can say uh, from and then we can simply copy this whole thing and we can store it into the from web element with the, with the uh, variable from okay and then instead of typing in the whole thing here we can simply say from dot send keys and then from dot send keys arrow down and from dot send keys keys enter because what we have done is we have stored this particular uh, you know web element in the variable from of web element type and then we can call all these methods that are avail available for that particular web, web element so this this looks pretty uh, clean now so let's save this file and before we run this we want to put some weight there because uh, it it might you know because of the synchronization is used sometimes if you don't put the weight then it will break so what i'll do is to show you i'll put the hard weight for uh, as of now so i'll simply say after typing in i'll put a uh, thread dot um, sleep so that we can uh, you know see all these in uh, you know action and i'll say throws declaration so after each step i'll put two seconds wait there so you can see how it is working so i've saved it let's run the code so it's opening the browser and we'll open the website maximize the page and you can see it has clicked on from it has typed in sydney and now you can see it has selected sydney in the from uh, box from text box right so that's how you will handle auto suggestive drop down from the um, from you know like most of these travel websites or hotel websites now have the auto suggestive drop downs so this is the technique to handle auto suggestive drop down in selenium webdriver so hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.